What's going on everyone? Coming at you live from Gainesville, Florida on near the University of Florida. Uh, there is a dairy farm here and they are having a family open dairy day. So we came to walk around and see what happens on a dairy farm here. And I wanted to bring you all along with me so that you can see exactly what happens on a dairy farm and so you can see what these industries choose to show us. So this is a family day at the dairy farm. Uh, so please share this now with people so that they can see what happens. I'm gonna walk you through, I'm gonna go up to each of these stations and ask these people questions and tell them that I'm filming for my college class just so that we can raise awareness and show exactly what happens in these industries and just how unnecessary they are. And we'll walk you through starting at the front and we're gonna see everything from where they hold the calves, to where the mothers are, to where the mothers are that just gave birth, to uh, the milking parlor, to the tractors, to this massive big cow behind us. And this is a family day, so there's kids everywhere. We just did a full walk around to see uh, what happens, and it's just mind-blowing to see all of these families showing their kids how we use animals. So, I'll show you around. Family day at the dairy farm. How's it going? Good, thank you. And I might be laughing, I might be saying some stuff I actually don't mean, that's just because I need to play the role, so. This is the map. Gotta follow the crowd of people. Okay. Do you want to look at those at the end? Like as we're walking out back? Oh! oh. You may or may not let go. Oh yeah. Look at this spike on the Hello, I'm going live from my campus. Would you mind giving like a 30 second sort of what's happening here? All right, um, so this is a three month old weaned calf. We're here at the UF IFAS dairy unit here to educate y'all about dairy production and how we take care of these animals. Beautiful, thank you. Three months, hello. Are they all from the farm here? Like this? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. They're all from the same farm, and these two are both about three months old. They are on a grain and hay diet, and this is important to help their rumen, which is a part of their stomach, uh, develop properly. Cool. So it is important to their development. Okay, Thank you. Holstein. Okay. My baby cow. Oh, oh, Want to get some hands here? Right, you want to get some hands So that was the calf, pet a calf area, as if you didn't already know or hear what she said, uh, three months old, and they're from this farm here. Feel free to keep the comments going in, ask questions. I can always ask some of these people here. Um, I think this is a very unique opportunity that we have to be sort of uh, undercover in here and just asking questions just to show how unnecessary, cruel, and horrific these industries are. So I'll keep uh, showing you around. You don't know we're making. We're making butter. Making butter. I remember making We did that too. We have to take turns. Everyone's shaking. Everyone's shaking. And that's the thing, everyone, we kind of have to be really careful with the questions that we're asking because um, there's a couple other activists here. We have a big group of us here. Um, people have already been sort of called out about it for a second. So just want to be really mindful of the questions that we're asking. But I'll try to get more specific when we get to some other areas.
So now we're gonna stop by uh, where they have a fistulated cow, where they have the hole in their stomach for medical research. Woo! Hey buddy. He's got a mission. Say when you do? I'm just doing an educational thing. Uh, okay, so they, they do around one day, around one year old. Okay, cool. Yeah. One years old? Thank yeah, you. and they did quite common, you know, like the That's a rumen. This is like the first the stomach. No, yeah, this is actually is the, like whole, uh, the whole the whole stomachs, the four. So this is the rumen. Okay. But it's a goat. Is it like a rumen or is it like a? No, no, it's real. <laughs> That's real. I'm not that yeah, it's real. <laughs> it just inflates and put this glue. Yeah. So this is the rumen, everyone. For those of you asking, or the stomach, the entire stomach. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the rumen. This is the reticulum. Amazing, love amazing. So that's like their four stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Because they do all kinds of research and that's how they do it. Mama. So all of these cows gave birth. What test? You work here? Work here. I don't We're know like you're volunteer. I'm doing a little educational video. Do you mind saying what's happening in like the different sections? Uh, I can I can tell you. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so these here are just the fresh cows. Fresh cows. So meaning meaning these are the cows that just calve. Sorry. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So they just calve. Um, they'll be here for about 30 days. Cool. And then uh, so we try and and keep them as comfortable as possible. With the sand beddings, um, all the cows will have their own stall to lay in. Yeah, I've never seen sand before. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah so it's an, it's a good. Most dairies, especially in Florida, will use it. Okay. Florida, it's a big sandbox here. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Tropical sandbox. And then these are the same over here. These. Um, these are really the heifers. Okay. So these. Um, I can't give you specific colors actually. Uh, I believe these are the heifers that just calve. So okay. meaning they're the, the younger younger that just calve. Cool. So same same story. They'll have their own beds, trying to keep them as comfortable as possible. Calving's a big deal. Sure. Yeah. It's it's tough on them, and we see that and understand that. Cool. I appreciate the info. Yeah. They'll be coming. This group will be coming out here shortly out of the milk parlor. So oh. We'll cool. Be coming out. You can awesome. See Thank you. So. No, no, go for what were you saying? Yeah, um, like trackers. So if you didn't hear that, everyone, I tried to get close. They, um, these cows right here uh, were fresh, ca uh, fresh cows. They had just given birth, and they have their own individual beds of sand to lay on so that they can have more comfort, so he said, to take better care of them. He even said that birthing a calf is a very tough experience for them. So, yeah, um, hope you caught some of that. And the things that are on their ankles are trackers. Um, all of these calves just gave birth, or all of these cows just gave birth, and they don't have any of their babies with them. So you can see. So 
So that's most likely the cows that are bellowing for their children. And we're bringing family and kids here to show what happens. And so right now there's a cow that, that um, just gave a fresh birth. So we're showing, um, you can actually see the placenta that's coming out of here. It's pretty cool. How's it going guys? Good, how are you? Good. I heard you were educating some other people. I'm doing a little education video. Yeah. What happened here, placenta? What, yeah, so this cow. Is this normal? This, yeah, completely normal. This cow just gave birth the last few hours. Okay. And so it takes about a day sometimes for the placenta to release completely. Okay. And unfortunately, we can't we can't touch it um, until until it's released completely because it, that might injure the cow. Sure. And so it looks kind of nasty that it has to sit there, but until it's released itself completely, we can't. Natural that. process. Yeah. Natural process. Yeah. So cool. Just in the last yeah, she probably cow just in the last few hours. Few hours. So this mama just gave birth a few hours ago. And are the babies, are they the ones, no, those were too old. Do, is there a separate spot for the babies? Yeah, so we have, a, we have a calf unit just down the road. Cool. The calves awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. So if you didn't hear that, I'll show you again. Um, that calf over there, or that, I keep on calling them calves, that cow over there um, just gave birth. And he said a few hours ago, and that was the placenta still coming out, and they can't touch that. I don't know, something to do with the natural process. Um, all of these mothers look sad. They look exhausted. And we give them a little individual bed of sand, and that's what we call taking care of them. So this is just awful. And the fact that there are kids here, And if you didn't hear as well, let me get back into the shade. Um, they have a calf facility down the road where they take the cow. So this mother just gave birth, this one right here with the placenta coming out, just gave birth three hours ago and her baby was already taken from her. And this is supposedly local and sustainable and humane. So now we're gonna move into a couple of the testing spots and then there's actually an area that we're gonna move to next where they show you how to artificially, see here they're showing it. So someone just came by after the guy even said it's not okay to um, take that stuff. Oh, that's so true. But they just came and took it. And there's so many people here and scaring the animals. So we'll show you around. We're gonna go into the place where they show you how they artificially inseminate. So if you just heard that, they're just teaching kids. She said, if I can make milk, who can make cheese or something like that? I don't know. It's just so mind blowing to see how we're just indoctrinating children like this and showing them how to use and exploit animals and to hold them captive. Look at all these animals. This is their individual beds. I think that's a good life. Oh, so are these the different ones? These are the pregnant ones versus... Yes, those are Okay, pregnant. cool. Cool, thank you. Yeah, so all of these cows, everyone, this is where the pregnant cows are. All of these mothers will give birth soon and then have their babies taken from them.
see how big this place is. And they have kids games, games for people to play. All right, so here's our guy. I know, can't wait, hold on. So everyone, this is a pretty powerful uh, part of the tour. We already went through it before, but basically this man here will give us a detailed explanation of how we artificially inseminate these cows, meaning how we forcefully impregnate these innocent mothers. Uh, and then on the inside, they actually have fetuses of all different sizes from Petri dish stages, yeah, from Petri dish all the way till, um, I forgot how old, but something weak fetus, 90 day fetus that was uh, from a slaughterhouse. So That's this is a, a very powerful part to share to people. Okay. Morning. How are you guys? I'm, do I'm doing my, my educational live stream. Will you explain the process? What am, what am I learning here? By all means, I will invite you to come in oh, and to talk him. to him yes. so you can yeah. see the cow. So, and what make are these for? These are just making so, balloons? So, we're using them for this now, but we use them to check if the cow is pregnant, to keep her clean if they have infections. So, we ah, yeah, use yeah. them for, for several processes. Cool, amazing. <laughs> you can, your students here? We are. Okay, cool. Students. Cool. And this, this is cool. Yeah, to make a very easy infographics to give yeah. the idea of how um, life and the birth and the production, sure. production process. Welcome. Thank you. So maybe we'll walk through first and then we'll have them tell us. So these are the stages. Is it like a Cow clear dot and then something with a little speck inside it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's that is. And then they can implant to the uterus, like up the implantation. So all right, so it's about time. I might need my, my explanation again. So would you mind just telling what happened, what's happening in this process? Yeah, so in the first microscope, so they, they have the mom's part, so it's just like the egg. Yeah. And then the second microscope is like our uh, side, where the egg for the mom encounters these parts of the dad. Sure. And here we have like a bunch of like uh, embryonic timelines, so like all the embryonic right. development at first. You can't see like much of like structure. Sure. And then... It just gets older and older, longer yeah. down the process. And you start like seeing like little structures here, and then around 45 days, you can see like all the limbs, the head, sure. neck. And over there, like gestation in cow is 280 days long. Okay. So here you have like 280 a, days for gestation. Yeah, okay. here you have like a 90 days, so like a three months. Okay, and what's right. this? Like it's the whole uterus. So like it's, yeah, and here's the the fetus that was inside this side of the horn. Okay. So you can see like all the placenta, the umbilical cord here, those structures connect with these structures in the mom, that's the connection between mom and fetus that's going to provide all the nutrients sure. and the umbilical cord over here. And you, where was this from again you said? Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. Yeah. A local one? Or just wherever they can get it. Do you know where the slaughterhouse is? Uh, I don't know. It's not that. Yeah. Okay. And what are those? Are those pigs in a? Yeah, there's like a big. Uh, you got this big in my belly. And over there you can see the dad's part. Oh, this is the dad's part. Yes. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> the dad's half. This is our nitrogen tank. So basically, they mix dad's half with mom's half, and boom. This is a nitrogen tank. We keep the sperm storage here. So you store the sperm in there? Yes, we do. So we have a, like the collection center of the woods, the high genetic bulls in the world. So one single bull is going to give a thousand, ten thousand uh, doses. So we can do it and we can spread the From one collection? Yes. How many female cows can you impregnate with one bull? On like one, you know, sort of run through? So if we assume that uh, the conception rate, the pregnancy is going to be around 50%. Okay. If one bull gives like uh, 10 billion of sperm, after the process, we're going to split the, the semen to 10 million okay. in the straw. At least uh, for a stowing process, 10 million sperm. So we can, uh, one single bull can give like 10,000. Wow. Uh, so 5,000. Yeah. And AI is artificial insemination. insemination. Yes. yes. Artificial insemination. Yeah. Just trying to decode everything. 
Oh, oh that's heavy. Yeah. Oh, you can look. So we're looking at the sperm. Is it, is it? No, actually, we want to see these straws, right? But we have like. Oh, uh, that's what goes in them. Like we keep the straws inside you an Insta, here. An Insta one. So this is okay. I see. So that's the straw from one bowl. Actually, here we we brought uh, just few straws. Okay. I need to track where where is it. No worries. Wow. Oh, no worries. I mean, I'm getting a, a good idea of it. And so we have just one canister with the straw. Sure. The problem is the one. Yes, yeah, this here. So, the goal here is to storage the semen for a while, right? Okay. So I can't, I will lift up just so you guys take a picture. Cool. Because I can't uh, lift it up too much. No worries. Yes. Ah, so, so it's in the there. Straw. I see. There's the straw. Wow. Actually, is the can when the straws are. Yeah. Is, oh, sorry. It's like. Uh, so this is the straw. Uh, and that goes inside. Sperm, in sperm inside sorry? of the straw. Yeah, the sperm stay inside the straw. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. I might need you to explain again. Is it time to explain? Okay. You want me to explain yeah. how this works? Yeah. If you have an audience, I'm just I'm now doing the different live stream. I'm gonna come over here. Here's my artificial inseminator. You want to sit on this? He's going to explain how it happens. Do you want to stand on this? Let's stand on it. Here, let me move it to the right place. You stand up there. So this is my artificial insemination All right. technician. What's your AI name? Guy. What's your name? Watson James Very good. I'll hold your balloon. I'll give it back to you. So what do we got going on here? So what we want to do is get the sperm Here's the rectum of the cow, okay? Where the poop is. Yeah. That's why we have these big, long blue gloves. And that is the uterus where the embryo, where the baby is going to grow. So for us to get a baby, we have to get the sperm from the bull inside the uterus where the, the egg is, where the mama's egg is. And then they combine and you get a baby. The problem is, there's like a little barrier in the reproductive tract, in the uterus. So to get this artificial insemination pipette into the uterus, we have to get through this barrier. So what you're gonna do, put one hand in this big hole. So what does this do? So that's so you, your hand is in the rectum so you can manipulate the reproductive train. So if you push down, put your hand around there. And then push down, you feel that? That's the cow's uterus. So you can grab there, and then with your other hand, here's where it gets tricky. I hold that point too. See this little hole here? Right here. And what's that? Oh. That's the vagina. All right. Facsimile. Uh, and put that gun in there and push it in. And then what you would do ordinarily is use your hand in the rectum to make sure this gun goes into the uterus. Is this a pain free ish process? A, a good inseminator does this in about a minute. Okay. A bad one? Like me, like 10 minutes. Okay. But I don't do it. Actually. Sure. Uh, I think it's uncomfortable to be in the rectum. Sure. But that's about the only thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm uh, sure it'd be uncomfortable too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pull your hand out. Let's Thank you very much. Yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah. Thank you.
And also the kid can play. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Thank you very guys. much. Thank Appreciate it. So, everyone, I told you that was going to be uh, a little intense. Um, no, you, you could totally walk around wherever you want. I'm with Maria right now. She's my uh, accomplice, my undercover accomplice. Um, so that was the artificial insemination station. And as that guy even said, this is his artificial inseminator technician. 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 So share this. Show people what happens. Like you just said in here, they are literally showing and normalizing the sexual abuse of an animal. They're literally normalizing this forcefully impregnating an animal without their consent. I mean, this is something, and then they're out in the open about this. They're showing kids. No wonder this is the world that we live in. This is the state that we live in. Look at how these kids are being raised. I would say it's half adults, half kids here today. Like, it is pretty unbelievable to see what's happening. So last Lee, we're gonna go over by the milking truck and then we can look at the milking parlor. Um, maybe I'll, we'll walk over there because that's the back end of the parlor. Uh, thank you for watching this. And, and honestly, this is a very unique way to bear witness today because we see the cruelty that's happening here. We see it, but to everyone else walking by, they don't see it. They really don't. But even that guy said it was really uncomfortable being inside of the rectum, being inside of this animal. And when I asked him if it was pain-free or not, he didn't understand. So we're gonna show you around over here. This is the other side of it. Look at these animals. These are the pregnant ones. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I gotta hide my fork, everyone. <laughs> my tattoos need to be hidden as well. Liberate on the knuckles are not the best. So this is... Liberate your life. I know, true. These are some more cows. This is the back end. Look at these sweet mamas, like, trying to comfort each other. Let's see if I can zoom. One's in the milking parlor. One's having her body exploited. The other is out here. Exactly. At least they have, uh, these are young, these are young, young animals. Um, yeah, I just read your comment. At least they have sand. I know everyone's just settling on the success that they have sand. So there's the back of the milking parlor. Let's just say whatever and let's film over here. Cool. These are where the cows, the cows get brought down here. And then they're hooked up to these machines to have milk stolen from them, the milk that's meant for their babies. Obviously, you know that. Yeah, exactly. Probably where they artificially inseminate them. Um, and so what's gonna happen here as well, I just didn't wanna say anything till the end. We're gonna be doing a disruption here uh, in a moment. We're gonna be meeting up with the she group. Said by the middle, by one yeah, of the all of those channel. people back here are, are activists, so we're gonna be meeting up with them in a second. So this is the milk truck. 5,000 gallons of milk produced in one day by about 500 cows.
I just have to wait my turn to get in to see the cows being exploited. so hot. So they got milk safety, whatever. Portable milking machine. Teaching kids how to milk cows. Everyone's here, everyone that is here is drinking dairy or eating dairy. So they're drinking milk, drinking the secretions from a cow and they're normalizing this so much. I've never seen something like this. They're honestly, yeah. Well, you've seen it, you've been in the live stream. I'm gonna go to the front. We might be getting together with the other activists. I wanna get uh, a few more videos here for, they are? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to stay live for it, but uh, thank you everyone for watching. Maybe I'll go back to the calves in a second, but if you saw this video, it's not a cow up there. Um, please share this, show this with anyone that eats or drinks dairy, aka eats or drinks milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, uh, vegetarian friends, non-vegan friends. Show them what's going on, share this with them. It's non-graphic, but it's the real truth. I mean, even something as normalized as this, even something as clean as this, um, it's awful, it's exploitation. And it's mind blowing to see this stuff and to witness it firsthand. And, you know, to see all of these innocent beings being used, being exploited. You're right, it is hell. Imagine being in their position, honestly, imagine being one, just forcefully impregnated. Two, once your baby, once you have given birth to your child, your baby is taken away with you in the first three hours and you heard him say it over there. Three hours, baby taken away, placenta all over the ground. So that's your life and then your baby's taken away and then you're forced to lay there on sand and that's where you live. And then everyone comes in and just looks at you all day. The least we can do here is send them some love, good energy and give them some comfort and take photos and videos and share that with the world so just put yourself in their position sometimes i think that's one of the easiest ways to open up your mind especially for any vegetarians watching like the dairy industry is another industry in which human beings use and exploit animals and that's it and you can see it even in the most humane and practical standard and nice standards it's these animals have been turned into a commodity that's it just because we demand their products just because we like the way their products taste Let's just stop using animals. They're not here for us. They are not here for us. 
they are here with us. So it's up to us to share their story with the world, to speak up for them, to show people that these industries are unnecessary, cruel, barbaric. We just need to stop. So thank you all for watching. Um, so the baby calf is, uh, maybe I'll walk back to the front in a second and end there, but um, I'm gonna jump off on this live stream because someone had, I forgot I had my shirt up and they read my tattoo and we're probably just about to do the disruption. Um, if we're gonna do it now, I'll go live for it. Do you know when, did they say when we're doing it? Okay, so I'm probably, maybe I'll go live again, if, if anything. Uh, but thank you again for watching. Thank you for bearing witness with us. Thank you for sending your love and energy to these animals. Thank you for sharing the story. And um, let's open up people's eyes. Let's show them how normalized this is being. Let's show them how we are literally conditioning children to exploit animals, to artificially inseminate, to forcefully impregnate animals living, breathing, sentient beings. We have turned them into a commodity and we are teaching our children this. So thank you again, everyone. I'm gonna get back to, uh, it looks like actually they might be starting the disruption now, so we'll see. No. All right, everyone. Thank you again, I'm gonna sign off for now and Stay tuned on the Instagram for the disruption videos. Uh, thank you for all your love, support, kindness, positive energy, and, and thank you for seeing the truth and sharing the truth and just sharing how normalized this is, even on a college campus, the University of Florida. So much love, everyone. Yeah, that's to answer your question. I am in uh, Florida, just outside of Orlando at the University of Florida in Gainesville. So talk to everyone soon.